time. It promises to be a, a night celebrating some of the nation's best loved shows. Shine a light on the magic of musical theatre. The National Lottery's Big Night of Musicals, hosted by the comedian Jason Manford, features performances from West End and touring shows including Hamilton, Disney's Aladdin and Les Miserables. And we're joined by Jason and Alfie in just a moment, but let's take a sneak peek. <laughs> Uh, very pleased to say uh, Alfie Bow, comedian, and uh, Jason Manford, singer, <laughs> are here this morning. Jason, can you sing? I get, I get away with it. No one stopped me. So I mean, have I'm you not... heard him sing? My jokes are better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not singing next to him, like doing kick-ups next to Ronaldo. <laughs> but yeah, no, I get away with it. I'm all right. He's yeah, a well, very good singer. I, I did. Um, He's I did the singer. opening number of the show tonight, and uh, really, yes. What was it? We did uh, the Greatest Show from the Greatest oh, Show, great. and he knocked out the park. He really did well, a good job, man. I, I actually great. got a singing lesson. He came round to the house, <laughs> gave me a singing lesson the day before. So yeah. Uh, so I genuinely didn't know. I didn't know you could sing. I, it's, I, I've been hiding it um, on an album in, and in several musicals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's me told. Yeah, all right, sorry, should have known that. Uh, but Alpha, you do get to. You're you're featuring as a singer. <clears throat> yes, I do in the show. I'm I'm uh, sort of celebrating the legacy that is Les Misérables, and I'm singing "Bring Him Home" with uh, three other Valjeans. So it's yeah. the full, full Valjean Whoa. version of Les Misérables. Ooh. Yeah, it's That's pretty awesome. special. That's yeah. a good one. It was a huge surprise on the night. You know, it, it, we had the three Valjeans and then Alfie come out and, and uh, surprised everybody yeah. at the end. It was, well, there they are, they're fantastic. Did they not know? Did they genuinely not know? The other Valjeans oh, knew. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, the, audience, yeah, the audience didn't know. That'd be a hell of a <laughs> It would have been, wouldn't it? That fellas, I was just the passing. Brought, <laughs> the app brought him on. <laughs> the app brought him on. Do you know, the... Enduring appeal of musicals is amazing to mm. me, and it is partly what invigorates the West End so much, but also theatres around the country as yeah. well, regional yeah. theatres. And it's not just the old classics, but the number of new musicals coming through yeah. that are yeah. really exciting. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it, the, the musicals have always, always been there, and, they've, and, they've, and these guys and girls are uh, constantly eight shows a week, you know, yeah. really putting the work in. And, but it's it's a couple of hours of just a bit of magic, isn't it? You know, the, life's hard enough as it is, you know, where you go to a musical, just forget about it for a little bit, and one of these old theatres and um, and just have a, a, an amazing time. And, and and also, I think what's what's really important as well is the regional theatres and, and Big Night of Musicals is one of the few shows that celebrates uh, the, the, the touring productions as well. Mm. It's not just London-focused. That's why we do it in Manchester, the, the AO Arena. And... Uh, it's a real celebration of, of musical theatre. And, and, and to let people know, look, this is what's going on. And, and I, I don't yeah. know about you, when I was a kid growing up, I never thought musicals were for me. They weren't aimed at me. Theatre in general, did, it felt like something a bit stuffy and it felt like what rich people did. And, you know, and, 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 and what's great, I think, is that the, the producers are on that and they want everyone to come in. You know, there's, there's t tickets. When we did Wizard of Oz over the summer at the Palladium, there was tickets for 13 quid. Hamilton does a Hamil 10, uh, you know, tickets for a tenner. So there are opportunities for everyone to see it. You know, the event, the big big night of musicals, it was a free event for everybody to go on. Mm. But it's, it's, it's not just nurturing people that love musical theatre right now, it's nurturing an audience for the future, because there's so many kids there mm. that would either want to be performers, dancers, singers, or just be avid theatre goers, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And tell me, Alfie, behind the scenes, so that you've got a lot of performers in one place at one time. Yes. From all these different shows, was it a little bit um, behind the scenes? Was it quite chaotic? Was it? How was it? Was it? A, it was 
was busy backstage, but it was it was wonderful because every, the energy for it from yeah. everybody was fantastic. Oh, it's it? a massive procedure. Yeah. I mean, it, it couldn't be made without the National Lottery uh, funding behind it. Um, no t I don't even think Netflix could afford to no. put a show on like that. A thousand hotel rooms are required to put this show on. I mean, there's a there's a lot of people coming to Manchester for a few and days. And presumably you've got on. these odd sort of mashups. You get the Wizard of Oz cast, yeah, next to the Hamilton cast. That's and right, yeah. I don't know how often these people even meet. There is it must well, be it, quite unusual for them. Well, it's weird. I mean, we went for a drink afterwards, didn't yeah. we? For a, for a drink, and I, there was one point where I was sat there with Valjean, uh, the Phantom, uh, Alphaba, <laughs> uh, and uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, <laughs> and Dot Brown from Back to the Future. You think, oh, this doesn't happen. <laughs> got it all covered. Yeah. Got it all covered. <laughs> The, the other thing, just talking about young people and getting drawn into it, so mm. my kids are involved in a musical theatre group, yeah. but you, you get them all over the country, mm. but the transformation you see from children when they come into a setup like that from the age of nine or ten yeah. to through their teenage mm. years, particularly for boys, actually, mm. into these confident young people because they're in a really safe secure environment exactly. that allows them to really grow and express themselves when, when I go on, when I go on tour as a solo artist which I will be doing later in the year by the way just to plug it um, thank you you don't mess around with those May and June, um, I, I, bring, <laughs> I bring on stage with me some uh, academy students and I get them to join in with the songs got them and the enthusiasm of mm. those guys really doesn't spill out to just my fans, but again, to the kids that are in the audience, they see other kids up there just yeah. thoroughly enjoying it. But it is that, so you know, it's, import it's important and it's being sidelined in schools, you know, everyone's focused on maths and English and, and, and which is right, but at the same time, you know, the arts are, it's one of the biggest growth industries in the, in the UK. It's one mm. of our biggest exports around the world. Um, we are, you know, people come up from all over the world to film things here, to make things here. If you want to be a, a, a um, an electrician, you know, an electrician on a movie set, for example, is, you know, there's lots of opportunities yeah. for people. And I think we, we forget about it. And like you said, going into drama groups for kids, it's not just about, right, you're going to join this drama group and then you're going to be no, no. in no. a film. No. It's, it's about, about the growth of the it's about, Yeah, it's about confidence, like you said, a safe space. It's all the things that you learn from drama um, and being in a drama group are going to help you in the workplace, in uh, social settings. So it's, yeah. it's massively important. But can I just ask quickly? So I was at a performance of <coughs> Hamilton in Manchester oh, great, not long so. ago, right? Fantastic production. There were some women sitting nearby How does me. It go, Hamilton. Uh, <laughs> Alexander Hamilton, pretty much. Anyway, women sitting beside me who'd had a few drinks and were singing along. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Yes or no, Alfie? Audience participation, singing along in a theatre. Oh, I, I think it's great. Really? I think it's great. Do you not agree? I mean, if like, I've paid well, to hear you yeah, before, but if, I, if I've paid to see you, you. do bring him home and I've got some bloke from yeah. Leeds giving yeah. it, bring <laughs> him home. Yeah, like, yeah, no, but when you've got a song like, when you've got like. a song like uh, You'll Be Back in Hamilton, where he goes, da 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 da, that just encourages the audience I think to it's get about, going. I mean, you remember that story in Manchester when someone got arrested at the bodyguard for joining in? Like, really? Yeah, they got so happy. It went by. You should never have done that, mate. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, have a bit of respect, man. It's, I'm, 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 I don't know about the joining in thing. You know, if you're enjoying yourself, oh, it's too, but I take yeah. your point. If it's right in your ear, yeah. it's not yeah. fun. And out of tune. I mean, yeah. these are professionals. I think there's 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 uh, certain shows which are always going to lend it. So if you go and see Grease or, you know, yeah. one of these jukebox yeah, musicals, yeah, yeah. it's very hard to be in a jukebox musical and people not join in. Well, but, uh, the Rocky Horror Show, everybody joins in. I think, right. it's just about I think if you see a sign saying don't join in, don't join in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> lovely seeing you both this morning. Thank, Thank you very much. Alfie's going on tour. Alfie's going on tour. The National Lottery, Big Night of Musicals <laughs> on air. BBC One, BBC iPlayer tonight from 7.50... Until 9.20, we're giving you the exact Last time of the show. <laughs> just, in case. just so you can make plans. <laughs> you know, not affect your bedtime and that. Uh, that is all from us today, <laughs> for the moment, in the studio anyway. Breakfast back from 6 o'clock tomorrow. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>